Hello again, and um, today we are going to be doing a watercolour landscape um, with quite a lot of wash in it. And I'm going to sort of take you step by step through one. It's going to be quite simple, not that much um, different colour. And what I'd like you to do is just have a look around, see if you can find a good reference um, that is hasn't got too much detail and preferably something with kind of a really nice sky or water or something you think is going to really work for this and um, print it up nice and big or have it on a big screen because that makes it a lot easier to work from. Okay let's go. I've chosen this um, photograph from Scotland where I'm from. Blue grey landscape and I thought it was quite moody, but also not too much detail, as you can see. So really start out simple. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off by just putting a little wash down. It's blue mixed with black, and I'm going to, see it's very, very light. Brushes across. I'm gonna bring it across the whole thing, kind of bearing in mind that this is the sky, so thinking about how I'm putting it on and just leaving some bits light and I can bring it down over the whole picture brushes upward toward the sky area again from making it like we said I've got some water there so I, I want it to be bluey gray anyway but I don't want it to be too dark so you kind of when you're working with a wash you can actually work uh, if you're looking at the picture kind of thinking about where those darks are so you can start already working into some bits like say in the sky here I could um, bring certain darker bits for, for clouds you really want to you know I might even come in with a um, paper towel or a rag or something just to make it really soft adds color to the clouds mm -hmm. see it gets kind of like lower clouds uh, bigger up here and then they're flatter down here. Gets a paper towel. Okay. And then I'm going to, while it's still wet, lift off a little bit so I can get that nice. No, not too much, just a little bit like that. So fun. Swipes. And the next thing I'm gonna do is um, Blot it back a little bit so that I can get into doing the. I've got some mountains in the distance, and so, and I have given myself some lines by the way, so you know, you can totally do that. Um, you see, I'm using the same color, so if I make a mistake, I just sort of um, knock it back and it becomes part of the wash, which is quite handy. Um, but here is where I'm going to have my range of mountains, but you know, they're not, they're really in the distance, so I want them to be super light. So I hope you can see that. I'm using a very fine brush for this. And just pulling it down. She brushes lightly. And that might even be enough for them. Uh, now I'm going to do little bit on the reflection too in the water. Okay, just bring a bit more blue in. Helps if you wash your brush. <laughs> she now paints a slightly darker blue for the water. See now here's where the mountains are. Right here. And then adds the blue to the mountains. So I'm just going to keep going and um, do a little bit with the land now. High speed time lapse as she continues to paint. So I've started putting in some um, washes into the main uh, land. And I actually, um, I was going to put more color in this, but I'm really liking it with the blue and gray. So you decide, 
you know, um, even if your photo is, is different, um, then just make your decision about what the picture feels like it needs and, and go with it. Trust your, um, trust your intuition. And I decided I just wanted to emphasize the kind of the line of the land. So I'm using quite a fine brush, even though I used quite a big brush for the, some of these washes. Just when I came to the edge, I used a fine one. And then I'm going to kind of come in here a little bit. And now I'm just kind of, um, you know, working in, getting a little bit. I'll probably put a bit more in the sky. Um, and in the water. In a time lapse sequence, she adds more details to the painting, which includes tall grasses and a road along the water. kind of stronger blue wash over kind of a lot of the land. I want it to feel, um, sort of have this atmosphere to it. And so I'm going to bring some of it to the sky and some of it to the land. I'm going to leave most of the water free, but I might bring some, some in. She brushes blue in and around the clouds. Then adds blue to the land at the left of the road. Text, Barnstall Junior Arts Center, Department of Cultural Affairs.